Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <coughs> Shifting rule in uh, Laplace transform. Uh, we know that uh, the Laplace transform of f of t is f of s. And uh, if we take the product of the exponential in the function of t this will give me a function of s minus a this is called shifting rule so using this rule we know that the laplace transform of um, T is uh, 1 over S square. So if I multiply this with uh, EAT, then the Laplace transform should be 1 over S minus A square. And following this rule, the Laplace transform of EAT Tn should be n pictorial s minus a whole power n plus 1 and we in one of our lecture one of our video we did this uh, calculation similarly the Laplace transform of uh, uh, cos bt is uh, uh, S over S square um, I think it's plus B square okay so when uh, we multiply with exponential a t cos b t this will be s minus uh, a over s minus a square plus b square so this is shifting rule and uh, in the last uh, lecture we did the laplace transform of t cos b t that is uh, this is bt is multiplied and this was um, s square square minus a square uh, b square over s square plus b square whole square so if I multiply this with the exponential a t t cos b t so s should be shifted that is s minus a whole square minus b square divided by s minus a square plus b square whole square similarly we see the Laplace transform of T sine BT was in that lecture that was 2A uh, 2BS over uh, S square plus B square. So following the shift rule AAT T sine BT Laplace transform of this should be 2b and here I think this is b square and s square so that will be b square s minus a square divided by s uh, here is whole square 
so this is shifted a unit a s minus a square plus b square whole square so the shifting rule simply can be used uh, in uh, calculations uh, this was the shifting rule okay thank you